Synesthesia sounds like a cool new type of dance music. But no, it's a brain thing. Dr. Brain is gonna tell us how it works. What do colors smell like? Have you ever tasted a number? If you answered yes, you may have a special brain, a brain that experiences synesthesia. Hi, I'm Dr. Brain. Okay, I mean, my real name is Crystal Dilworth, but I have a PhD in neuroscience, which is easier to call me Dr. Brain. So, I'm Dr. Brain! We understand our external world through our senses, sight, smell, touch, taste, and hearing. But in a small number of people, stimulation of one of their senses, such as hearing, results in a stimulation of an unrelated sense, like sight or taste, at the same time. Synesthesia can happen in many different combinations, but one of the most common results in identifying numbers and letters with specific colors. So one might be the loneliest number, but for some people, it's also a lovely fuchsia. How does synesthesia happen? One explanation involves cross-wiring between the areas of our brains designed to process sensory information. The regions of the brain that handle hearing, sight, taste, and touch are all located right next to each other in a part of the brain known as a sensory cortex. As babies, we start out with all of the neurons in our brains really highly connected to one another. But as we mature, the connections that move information frequently between brain regions get stronger and stronger. And connections that are used less get weaker and weaker in a process called pruning. But in a small number of people, this pruning might not happen as efficiently or in the same way. And if connections between the regions are retained, cells in them could be activated simultaneously, resulting in dual perception of sensory information. So how do you know if you have synesthesia? After all, you might not know that your sensory experiences are any different than everyone else's. Synesthesia is rare, but it might be genetic. So if anyone in your family has it, that increases the likelihood that you may too. There are many tests you can take to determine if you have synesthesia. A test subject is given a set of objects and asked to describe their colors, tastes, textures, personalities, or any other involuntary sensory association that pops up with each object. After a set period of time, the same objects are presented to the same test subject and they're asked the same questions again. There's usually too many objects for a person to memorize, but a subject with synesthesia will assign the same characteristics to the objects in the second round as they did before. Because that person has permanent neural associations in the brain between the object and the sensations they describe. The word synesthesia comes from parts of speech that mean a union of the senses. And I think that's a beautiful way to describe what it is, a merging of sensory perception. And a brilliant reminder that even though our brains are made up of the same essential materials, we're all a little different in our own ways. I hope you all found this enlightening, and for a small percentage of you, maybe even delicious. Bye. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.